I don't, I, I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do. And there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. And we sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes. As if that's the way things are supposed to be. Where we know things are bad, worse than bad, they're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy. So we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in gets smaller. And all we say is, please at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belted radios and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. There are people all over the world who are occupying different places which they view as the source of the problem. If I could occupy a space, it would be every office of government, every government classroom, every IRS building, and everything affiliated with government. We all know that no modern government has the consent of the governed. Would we be here today if that were the case? Consider your own relationship with the people who call themselves the government. These people, whether you choose them or not, are paid by a, the system which is responsible for wars, for bailouts, for executions, for airport groping, for the exploding prison populations. And if that's not bad enough, they force you to pay for all of it at gunpoint. I guess my point is, Occupy conquered will disappear. All of the Occupy movements will disappear, except for one. That is, occupy yourself. Take ownership of your body, mind, and property. Be your own sovereign. Make your own choices. Live free. Yeah. Do you want to support good people who disobey bad laws? The Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund was created to support the brave men and women who are saying no to aggressive government. With your contribution, you can support civil disobedience and non-cooperation now, while encouraging more in the future. As CD Evolution grows, we hope to provide activists with legal and public relations assistance, as well as delivering timely information on the growing civil disobedience movement. To play your part in the peaceful evolution, visit cdevolution.org. That's cdevolution.org.